This is my uh, second PowerShell tutorial. We haven't really gotten to PowerShell yet, but we are making preparations to do so. What I want to do in this tutorial is make you aware of uh, some of the adjustments that can be made in the PowerShell console. This is the place where you're going to spend the most time in the beginning. First, let's uh, start up PowerShell. Do that by uh, clicking the Run as uh, Administrator option here and we are going to cover the reason for that in its uh, own tutorial very soon. Now open up the properties. First uh, the icon here at the top left and properties like that. When it comes to the options we are going to discuss the command history here when we get that far and the colors pane I really don't think there is much to explain use uh, the colors for uh, text and background that suits you. What I want to talk about is uh, the font and the layout pane. If you select the font pane you have the option here for different fonts you can use. On my computer I have the raster font here as uh, a default. Now, some characters might be difficult to differentiate between, like the letter L and the number 1, and the single quote and the back tick. And at the same time, they might look uh, a little uh, cluttery. So, to give you an example, let's make a single quote and a back tick. And the back tick is used uh, quite a lot in uh, PowerShell. Since we all might be sitting around with the uh, different types of keyboards where the characters are placed uh, at different places, uh, let's uh, use the ASCII key for now. So let's uh, close uh, the properties window. And uh, what we want to do now is uh, if we hold down the ALT key and then we push down on the numbers 39 and then release the ALT key again we get a single quote and when you make the numbers you want to use the numbers on the number pad to the right of the letters not the numbers above your letters and to get the back tick you hold down the alt key again and then you push the numbers 96 before you release the alt key and you have the back tick they don't exactly look the same but they could look cleaner so let's open up the properties box again and let's choose um, fonts and the Lucida console font and when we click OK here now they look different and uh, I think they look cleaner and might be easier to read when uh, reading or making a script now the second thing I want to mention here is uh, font size. If uh, we go back to the properties box again, you see that uh, the Lucida console has uh, 12 as a uh, standard size. If you have bad eyesight or uh, your screen is not clear, there's no reason why you can't use a, a larger font size it makes uh, quite a difference. But for now let's uh, just uh, put it back to uh, 12 and we're going to discuss the last thing that I think is uh, important at this time. Right now we have a scroll bar here at the bottom of our PowerShell console and that's not a good thing if uh, we write a command here now help get process you see we can't see all the text and this is going to be a problem when we read from uh, commands and when we type in commands so this we have to change now if we go back to the properties here and we go to layout. Right now we have a screen buffer size width of 120 
and we have a window size width of a hundred. What is very important in uh, PowerShell is that these two numbers are the same. Now if we write uh, help get process we're going to get it without a scroll bar and that's very important and that's the end of uh, this uh, tutorial.